This is quite a nasty question involving an algebraic tree diagram. Let's get started. There are y black socks and five white socks in a drawer. Joshua takes at random two socks from the drawer, so that's without replacement. Let's draw the tree diagram for this problem first and then see where to go from there. So our tree, there's only two options in our tree. You can either pick white sock or a black sock. So white, black, white, black, white, black. And thinking about the relevant fractions in there for probability, well, white, there's five white socks out of a total of y plus five from our white and our black. So five out of y plus five, and for the black socks, it's going to be y out of y plus five. However, for the second pick, Joshua takes a sock and he puts it on, he doesn't put it back in the drawer. So actually our total on the second round has decreased by one from y plus five to just y plus four now. And that's true no matter which outcome you look at. So we're always looking at y plus four. Second part, maybe not quite as simple though. If you picked a white sock from your five white socks, you only have four left for the second pick. However, if you picked a white sock, you didn't affect the number of black socks. So those would still be a Y. Likewise down here, if you picked a black sock, you haven't affected your five white socks. But if you picked a black sock, you have affected your Y black socks. And they're now just a Y minus one. Our tree diagram at this point is done. So we can move on to the probability part where we learn that Joshua, the probability that Joshua takes one white sock and one black sock is six out of 11. There is one thing we really need to watch out for though here. And this question is maybe a little bit ambiguous, but one white sock and one black sock, they didn't state which order that's in. So we actually have two possible outcomes that could fit this description. We could have the probability of a white sock and a black sock, that's this option. Or we could have the probability of a black sock and a white sock, probability black, white. Because we weren't given a specific order, we have to assume we could either have white, black, or black, white. They both give us one white and one black. Let's look at probabilities then for each of those. For our white, black, we've got five over y plus five, multiplied by y over y plus four. So combining those into one fraction, we've got five y over y plus five brackets y plus four. Likewise, for our black white combination, we've got y over y plus five multiplied by five over y plus four. And we've got some amount of symmetry going on here. You can see these look very similar. Again, we're gonna have five y over y plus five brackets y plus four. So thinking about how we use tree diagrams, or if you want either of these two outcomes to be possible, that means we are doing a sum or adding these two up. So when we add the two of these, the denominator obviously stays the same. So that is just brackets y plus five, y plus four. And on the top, you've got 5y plus 5y to get 10y. We very effectively used our tree diagram then to get 10y over y plus 5y plus 4. That is the probability of one white sock and one black sock in any order. So now we need to combine this with the number that we were given, 6 out of 11, and see what happens. So 
So let's write down, we've got, we can do this down here, 10y over y plus 5, y plus 4, in double brackets, equals 6 out of 11. And at this point, we're doing some sort of cross multiplication to get rid of our nasty fractions. So when we cross multiply this, we're going to multiply everything by 11, y plus 5, and y plus 4. And that gives us this effect of the 11 popping up over here and the double brackets popping up over here. So let's try that one out. We're going to have 11 times 10y. And on this side, we're going to have 6 times y plus 5 brackets y plus 4. Expanding things out, so we've got 11 times 10 for 110y. And then here we're going to have 6 brackets y squared plus 9y plus 20. One step to sort things out here is, well, look, we've got 6y squared. In our answer, we'd like to aim for 3y squared. So let's take out that factor of 2 at this point. We can divide this 110y by 2 to get a 55y. This will just be a 3, so let's then multiply that 3 into those brackets because we've halved both sides. So 3y squared, 3 times 9 will get you plus 27y, and then 3 times 20 will get you plus 60. This looks really promising for us, we just have to finish off on one last line. So subtracting 55y from both sides, you'll have 0 equals 3y squared. 27 take away 55 will be minus 28. So minus 28y plus 60. Brilliant. That's exactly what we wanted to prove in part A. In the second part of this question, we would like to use the quadratic that we've derived to find the probability that Joshua takes two black socks. So let's write down what we're starting with. We have 3y squared minus 28y plus 60 equals zero. And this is not a video about solving quadratics, so I'm just gonna skip to the factorized state of this. We should have 3y take away 10 and y take away six equals zero. You can check that factorization for yourself. Well, then solving these, let's do this bracket first because it's a bit easier. If y minus 6 is 0, then y has to be 6. Okay. Well, for this one, if 3y take away 10 equals 0, that means 3y equals 10. And then dividing by 3, y equals 10 over 3 or 3.333 dot dot dot, 3.3 .3 recurring. Thinking about the kind of answers we should be expecting, well, we'd like a number of socks that Joshua has got in his drawer. So only one of these answers is acceptable. We should be looking for a positive whole number answer. This answer might be positive, but you cannot have 3.3 .3 socks in your cupboard. So we're getting rid of this and we're only accepting y equals six. That's a really good tip for a grade nine to hold in your head. For real life kind of questions like this, we may only want integer or positive integer answers. Finishing off this question then, what we found is that the number of black socks was six. So let's just remind ourselves of the type of tree diagram that we were working with, where we had, I think I put white at the top, white, black, white, black, white, black. We don't need to fill in everything because we're only interested in the probability that Joshua takes two black socks. So if we knew that y was six, that means six black socks and five white socks to start out with. Six out of 11 is our initial probability. On the second pick though, we just need to be careful. 
obviously he already took a sock out, so that 11 goes down to a 10. And because the sock was black, it's a 5 out of 10 here. There are still 5 white socks, because we didn't touch a white sock on the first go. So probability of 2 black socks, probability of black, black. We will multiply these together. So 6 out of 11 times 5 out of 10. Got 30 out of 110, or 3 out of 11.